Hypertech's Max Energy Power Programmer is the latest in high performance technology. It allows you to optimize your diesel engine's tuning as well as adjust other vehicle parameters at the touch of a button. Your vehicle is an onboard computer called an ECU, which controls the engine and transmission. Inside the computer is a flash memory chip, which contains your vehicle's programming. Hypertech's Max Energy actually reprograms this flash computer according to your specifications with Hypertech's award-winning power tuning. Now I'm going to show you just how easy it is to reprogram your vehicle's computer. Before starting and during the reprogramming process, it is important that the voltage in the electrical system remain constant. To ensure this, you should have a fully charged battery with clean terminals. You will need to turn off radios, GPS devices, radar detectors, etc. You should also make sure the headlights and dome lights remain off during reprogramming by keeping the doors closed and setting the parking brake to disable any parking lights that may come on when you turn the key on. Now all these things can drain the battery voltage or even cause an electrical interference that could disturb the reprogram in the ECU. If your vehicle is equipped with satellite radio or you have a Chevy or GMC with an OnStar system, you must temporarily disable the system before programming by removing the fuses associated with these systems. Refer to your owner's manual for the correct fuses. The OnStar and satellite radio systems can interrupt the programming process even if you don't subscribe to it. When the OnStar has been successfully disabled, the indicator light on the dash or the rear view mirror will be off. When the satellite radio has been disabled, it won't power up with the key on. Now simply plug the Max Energy's cable into the vehicle's diagnostic port located under the dash panel on the driver's side. It's important not to disturb the cable during the programming process. Now during the programming process, you may hear your door chime or see different lights and messages appear on your dash. Don't worry, it's all part of the programming process. Your dash will go back to normal once programming is complete. And programming usually takes about 10 minutes. First, the Max Energy will display applications and copyright information. Then it will identify your vehicle and perform a self-test. Once this is complete, it will then check for any diagnostic trouble codes or DTCs. If no DTCs are found, then the Max Energy will prompt you for the next selection. However, if DTCs are reported, then the Max Energy will display how many DTCs there are and their codes. Now we recommend proper diagnosis and repair of any reported trouble codes before programming. Simply write down any reported DTCs and look them up on the internet or in a technical reference manual for explanation. Once you clear any DTCs, you are then ready for programming. The Max Energy will now ask you if you would like to install power tuning. Simply press the Y button to install Hypertext power tuning or the end button if you would like to keep the stock settings. If you have chosen to install power tuning, then the Max Energy will allow you to choose from three power levels. We call these power levels stages. Stage one is the lowest power increase, stage two is the second highest, and stage three tuning makes the most power gains. There may be times when you don't want or need that much power, like when the roads are icy or you let your teenagers use your truck. That's why we've added stage one and stage two. Hypertech's Max Energy is the only programmer on the market where every stage of tuning is safe for hauling and towing the maximum weight designated by your vehicle's manufacturer. For those of you who tow heavy loads, you need to know the maximum weight your vehicle can handle as a combination of the loaded vehicle and the attached trailer. This is called Gross Combined Weight Rating, or GCWR. For those of you who are not towing but hauling in the bed, you need to know the maximum weight your vehicle can handle on its own. This is called the Gross Vehicle Weight Rating, or GVWR. The important thing to realize before you hit the road with those heavy loads is that just because your truck performs better with Hypertex tuning, it doesn't mean that you can now tow or haul more weight than what your vehicle is designed to. But it does mean that you can tow or haul in Stage 3 up to the maximum weight to give you more power for a better driving experience. If you are overloaded, you should drive with this in mind. The secret to fuel economy is to keep the truck in the higher gears as much as possible. With Hypertech power tuning, you accelerate more quickly up to cruising speeds, spending less time at higher RPM in the lower gear. 
and your truck will maintain cruising speeds up hills. To avoid downshifting to lower, higher fuel consumption gears, and to avoid unlocking the torque converter and using more fuel due to slippage. Factors affecting fuel economy are total vehicle weight, traffic conditions, terrain, and driving habits. So we offer three different power levels to allow you to try each one for a period of time and discover which works best for your circumstances. Only Hypertech develops stage three maximum power level tuning to allow safe towing, so feel free to try every power level. Now you may be surprised to discover that the most fun level for performance, stage three, also delivers the best fuel economy for the most demanding conditions of hills and stop and go traffic. Once you choose which stage of tuning you would like, press the Y button. The next feature the Max Energy gives you is the ability to correct the speedometer and odometer if you have installed tires with an overall height that is different than the original factory tires. If you have not installed larger tires, then simply press the end button. But if you have, then press the Y button and use the up or down arrows to select your new tire size. Once you have chosen the correct tire size, then press the Y button. If you don't know what your tire size is, you can ask your tire dealer or you can measure a tire like this. Place a mark on the tire where it contacts the pavement and also mark the pavement. These marks should be at the center of the tire footprint pointing straight down to the pavement. Now roll the vehicle in a straight line until the chalk mark makes one revolution and is pointing straight down at the pavement again. Mark the pavement again at this new spot. Next, measure in inches the distance between the two marks on the pavement. Then divide the measurement by pi, which is 3.1416, and this will give you the tire height in inches. Now let's talk about the tire speed rating. A tire speed rating for maximum safe speed under perfect conditions is marked on its sidewall. Most factory diesel tires are low rated and do not specify a maximum safe speed on the sidewall. Because diesel trucks have become popular to modify with aftermarket wheels and tires, for newer diesel trucks, the Max Energy allows you to adjust the top speed limiter. Meaning, if you have installed tires with a different speed rating than the factory tires, then you can adjust your vehicle's top speed to match the new speed rating of your new tires. If you still have the factory style tires, you should answer no to this question because those speed ratings are for your safety. On some vehicles, the next option may appear that asks if you have installed an aftermarket shift kit. If you haven't, then press the end button. This will automatically install the appropriate transmission tuning that matches the power level you chose earlier. Combining these changes with an aftermarket shift kit could be damaging to your transmission. So if you do have an aftermarket shift kit installed, you should press the Y button. Finally, once you have selected the options you want, then the Max Energy will display those options for confirmation. If everything is okay, then press the Y button to continue or the end button to make changes. Once you have confirmed your choices by pressing the Y button, then follow the on-screen prompts until the Max Energy begins programming your engine. Once programming is started, do not leave the vehicle, disturb the cable, turn the key to the off position, or start the engine because any one of these actions will disturb the programming process. The programmer is designed to recover from these actions, but they should be avoided. When programming is complete, you will see successfully programmed displayed across the screen. Then all you do is unplug the cable and store your max energy. And of course, enjoy the added power and performance. Now if you ever want to return your vehicle back to stock, it is very simple to do. We recommend returning your vehicle to stock anytime you take your car to the dealer for service. This will ensure that your stock tuning will always have the latest dealer updates, and your Hypertech tuning will not be overwritten by the dealer. To do so, just plug the Max Energy back in, follow the on-screen prompts, and your vehicle will be programmed with the original stock settings. You can always reprogram Hypertech's power tuning anytime you like.